Hey YouTube, Fat Pastor here. It's finally arrived. The day has come for the HD Zero Race AIO Final Fly. Stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss this review. Oh my God, they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it, Marty! Here, boy, are we in for a treat. The HD Zero Race HD from Happy Model and HD Zero Race AIO Bind and Fly. Here it is. This will be my first reaction flying it. All I did was set up my rates and my modes and my OSD. Everything else is stock right out of the box. This will be my first flight and reaction. Full disclosure, this quad was sent to me at no cost to myself from Carl of HD Zero. The opinions expressed in this video are solely mine. No one else has any input on this review. What you're going to see today is my reviews, my reactions, and what I think about it. Big shout out to Carl. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be one of the ones to review this and debut it. So let's get into the video. I'm going to be flying the Lava 300 milliamp 1s batteries and this you are going to see my true first time reaction all i have done is up to this point is hovered it changed the rates and set up my modes and put my osd on it so let's see how she flies one of the things i do like about it is i noticed when i was setting up my rates and everything the vtx does not turn on when plugged in to usb or beta flight my first reaction is the image looks good it is the eco camera is on this it's not the best hd video camera oh oh it's fast oh it's oh it's hot too let me cool it down Let's try Beggar's Canyon. It's always difficult. But, uh, like a dream. Man, that's all. Oh, oh, I love it so far. So far, so good. Wow. My goodness. Carl, you guys knocked this one out of the park. I have flown and will be doing a review of every 65 millimeter bind and fly whoop with HD Zero on it. I have them all that will be following this at some point following this video. Um, wow. Wow, with no adjustments or or anything I, I can already tell this is going to be my primary racer Wow all I can say and I would do some outside I don't know if you guys can see but uh, I don't know if you see at the window a little bit of break up here um, it is very it is very windy today It is very windy today, so uh, let me sync this video before this video on my camera. I didn't do it before I took off. I'm going to come in now. Landed on my radio. That was my maiden flight. Well, you heard me say it, how I will summarize my first maiden flight on the HD Zero AIO Race HD is simply wow. 
I'm without words right now, which is rare for me. It is everything that I expected it to be so far and more. It's nimble. It's fast. It's very controllable. I don't know if Carl and the guys at HD Zero or Ryan, the guys that was in the prototypes of this, if they set up a tune for it, but um, it flies really good. I didn't check it when I was setting it up if it had a stock tune on it or not, but man, let's do another pack. And um, the thing that that I noticed about it, you know, it's got these 0702 28,000 kV motors on it. Usually something like that, this light, uh, which mine shows it around around 9.3 grams, depending on my scale. Usually something this light's very hard for me to get the throttle control down. And you'll see here that uh, it's just, one is real quiet. I like that about it. It's and it is just man, it it handles like it's on rails. Of course, I'm not the best racer in the world. See there, flip crashes great on carpet. Man. Punch out. One of the things that I didn't like about some of the lighter ones is it's got a little bit of a prop wash there when you're sitting back down in it. One of the things that I don't don't like about a lot of the real light ones is they're very floaty. And I'm just if you can watch my my throttle there, see I'm going up to 100%. It doesn't have cack on it, but it's it falls good. That's one of the things that I've never really liked about the. Let me see if I can get a good ladder on here. That that's one of the things I never really liked about the super light ones. They seem to be very floaty to me and. Or I'm used to flying fat whoops. Um, ah, get in there. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm used to a quad. When I let off of the throttle, I want it to drop. I don't want it to float. And, well, this one, this one does it in spades. So, wow. Beggar's Canyon is, is a breeze. The cubes aren't. I need to put a flip crash arrow on an OSD. That's something that I didn't do. I like the way that it drops. I'm not, I'm not the best freestyle. I'll go over to Infinity Loops, and I'm sure Heads has probably got this. And if you want to see this thing freestyled, uh, he is the man for you on that. Uh, I will be bringing this to the race with me on Saturday. I'm filming this, my first flight. This is Thursday, just prior to the uh, live stream with 5 through 3 and Mondo. Uh, so I'm trying to get this shot. I'm trying to get it done, get some footage, get my, it won't be edited, I have nothing edited. This is Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, I've got, my schedule is almost all the day booked up with work stuff, and I've got the race Saturday. Hopefully this video will be releasing Sunday morning. Right now, the only thing that I wish was different about it, and it's very minor, is I do wish it had a, the BT 2.0. It's just easier for me to see with my glasses off. I understand that doing that is just going to run the price of the quad up. The, the information that I've got, the literature that I've got, says that this whoop bind and fly, which is it's ready to race right out of the box. I believe the AIO is $99. Like I said, I'm not the best pilot, race pilot, but one thing that I do know is I do know HD0. 65 millimeter loops. The regular Mo 6, the old, the OG one, has been my standard go-to racer for well ever since it came out. To me, this flies an awful lot like the Bind and Fly racer that 533 made. Skip and Carter build them and put them out for 533. This reminds me a lot of that, but it's not as floaty. The, that one was way too floaty. It had way too much camera angle in it for me. Guys, I couldn't have built a better whoop than this for myself this is out of the box for me it's perfect it's a game changer this is what this is the hd zero bind and fly hd race version which with that you'll find out today there's another version that's the freestyle version got a different camera on it this is running the eco camera the other one has a diff different camera on it. it's called the lux camera will give you a better image but i think it weighs a few grams more 
or tenths of grams more than the Eco camera. HD Zero. I've been an HD Zero guy, faithful, for a long time now, and now there is no reason, in my opinion, to buy an analog race whoop. Get it. You won't regret it. This is a must-have for any 65 millimeter HD or any 65 millimeter tiny whoop racer. Get this. You will not be disappointed. There's another thing I just noticed about this. I had a battery that I run down too far. It stopped flying before the video stopped broadcasting. So no more your video ends at three volts. I just took a battery down to 2.8 volts and it fell out of the sky and I still have video. That's something I heard about but that I've not experienced until now. The Moog 6 Race HD. Get one. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you would hit that like button, doesn't cost you anything. Think about subscribing. It's going to be some more reviews coming. And remember, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, keep flying and rise up and meet me in the air.